Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Next is Until Dawn, episode 12. Only a few men have declared to hunt the Wendigo. The sky's a Wendigo. little out of seat. Wendigo. Oh. Josh may made this psycho story. His paper is fake. Josh had a print. Josh's voice. He never was an escaped convict. Another one of Josh's setups. There was no psycho. The light came from Josh's lair in the cellar. The strange man in the lodge was the flamethrower guy. Any American tribe used to live on the back. Strange man she saw near the lodge. These must have been Wendigo sightings. Mysterious guy was collecting. Hmm. Well, that's where Josh got all that gear. How many pigs died just so that? Josh could punk his friends. Well, there's a lot of them. Josh put the axe here as part of his plan to freak his friends out. Josh is planning to upload all this to the internet. Josh has a newspaper faked. This is how Josh controlled the TV, doors, lights, and the lodge. Josh needed guts for his death machine. That's some commitment to realism. Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, Josh plenty of opportunity to take these over the last year. Josh was going to upload all yeah, we got it. Here we go. Cannibalism the section in general was how cannibalism causes the Wendigo curse. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped on a mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he, has when he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse. Often those companions who have traveled with him, he'll eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer, like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled, topped across the bones. Hey, I wonder how quick he changes. the Wendigo. This creature is real and dangerous. If you're reading this, you have questions, but do not. But I do not have all the answers. This is all evidence and stories of my own experience. Oh, I think I'm going to show what I want. There's a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of the tall creature born in ice. There's a lot of history to this. Got it, yeah. Production. Uh, uh, there was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. The shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The creep believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Oops. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and... Is that... Ladder? Traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Change, it becomes to both sharper and more dimmed. The Wendigo sees movement is a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. This says that because the Wendigos still. are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. 
If you keep totally still, then the wind go will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the wind go hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the wind is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives and bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best way. Fire envelops them. Burns away their skin and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no, no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. Ooh. He's good. There may be defenses. Shaman's wrote a rit ritual. Um, oh, no, 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 no. What is it? What does it say? Talks about fighting. Oh, uh, just a lot of crazy stuff in here. It's kind of hard to believe, actually. It comes across as kind of a whack job. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Reading it. How to fight the trap when it goes. How the wind goes bite. I have found native artifacts in the mountain and co copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them. Out on the mountain they work. They keep the wind to go at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. What? Free legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Ah! Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse. Actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? They hurt me. They didn't hurt anyone. You did hurt someone. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. I did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something even worse than death itself. What's wrong? It's... It's not good up there. <laughs> Ash! 
Ash. No. I am so sorry, Ashley. What about the old guy? No sign of him. Wait! Don't move. Holy shit! What the What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. I was down there. It's horrible. There had been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Em, um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, Em! <laughs> Please! Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, what? What? Hey,
collapses during the same day. What happened to make so many people die on the same day? I just need a pitchfork and a mob.
actually see me again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. Alright. Good boy. Alright, pal. You're coming with me. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Couldn't have said it better myself. Ah, boy. Got moves. Come on, that Wolfie. Look inside all the barrels. written death certificate dated describes the body as partially eaten not a death that occurred on the it must have been a massacre not several serious regulars and some recent patients appears that patients were undergoing some sort of physical change patients were first made to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago during this time we have run a number of tests, both psychological and physiological. The results have been extraordinary, in contravention of common medical expectations. Symptoms, skin changing, severe vitamin D deficiency, social dysfunction, longer than average readaptation, period post-traumatic event, interpersonal behavior, erratic violence towards orderlies. Three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching. Scratching then assault, I guess. Huh, okay. Symptoms expected but not observed. Nutrition, scurvy, average quillet index was only within minus three percent of normal expected values. They should be dead. Frostbite patients, stimulus response within acceptable bounds. From thirty to four hundred and ten MS. Frailty weakness, the tension of tibia, fibia, and humerus. Distension. Average of one inch. Okay. To observe unusual growth of strength on patient lifted 725 pound weights. Hmm. Place under strict observation, restraint strongly, recommend change from one orderly to three orderlies. Hmm. I guess stronger. They did a number on this place.
Time for episode uh, 13. There you go. Yeah.